today i'll be discussing how to tune your violin using an application not all of us are born with the perfect ear to understand shruti or pitching or keys we are not having perfect pitch right so we have to depend on applications or techniques that help us tune the violin so before starting with tuning i want to explain a few things regarding the western scales i would say so there is a concept of octaves but we have saptaswara the same stuff octave is nothing but a combination of eight notes arranged in a sequential manner starting from western scale they start from c so c d e f g a b as english alphabet it's not starting from a b it is starting from c d e f g a b okay so i'm going to explain you the tuning to the shruti e okay carnatic tuning e which is also called as three moon katte or moon katta okay so it is e3 b3 e4 b4 starting from your left so thickest string to the thinnest string means this is your thickest lower sound and a higher tone lower tone higher tone so the this string the third last one fourth one from the left i'm talking about fourth one 1 2 3 4 okay so the fourth one will be e3 third one will be b3 second one will be e4 and the first one will be b4 i'll explain what's e4 and all that okay so as i mentioned we are arranging notes in octaves series of eight notes consecutively right so first set of eight notes is called first octave which is denominated by one so c1 means the note c in the first octave so right now we want to tune these two we will tune the first two i'll go with the second string which is our sa madhyasthayi sa which is e4 right now it is in tune so like i'm 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 unwinding it and making it out of tune okay just to explain you how this is done so when you are installing i am using an app called da tuner light you can get it from play store and i'm not sure about app store but play store it is available it is free so you have to open the app and choose tuner and inside tuner you will have to select a setting called automatic chromatic tuning you should not select violin because it will not show the right uh, tuning that we are looking at okay so right now i have selected automatic chromatic tuning the best way to tune is hold your left hand on the neck neck of the violin here somewhere here and then you pluck with your thumb like this you can pluck and resonate don't pluck continuously just pluck once and leave it it will resonate and the pegs what will do is if you are trying to tighten it increase the pitching you have to turn it clockwise and if you are trying to reduce the pitching you have to turn anti clockwise see it's going down unwinding it so it's going down and trying to increase it so it is going and you have to turn it up and major tuning is done on this and minor adjustments like one octave higher is done here so you are in let's say fourth octave c and you want e4 you are not supposed to use this you can but let's say c to e c d e three notes high right you can use this you are in the fourth octave itself you are in c4 and you need e4 means you have to bring c d e all are in fourth octave only c4 d4 e4 so c d e so you have to use here and now coming back to the tuning part right now it is showing d4 sharp okay this is d sharp in the fourth octave you now you need e e4 okay you have to make sure there is Minus fifty, minus twenty, zero, twenty, and fifty. There is one meter below the screen. 
you have to look at the center number and make sure you might be reaching e4 but also you have to tune it up to the middle that line has to there is one meter that meter has to come exactly to zero and it will turn green the entire screen will turn green So I have tuned this to E4, I have from C4, I have tuned it to E4, I am just and I'll show one more for this string, I am just gonna come bring it down pretty low, okay. Now this is in A3, which is the A of third octave, now you need B4, I am talking about the first string, you need B4 for this, A3, so that means I have to go one octave higher from C, D, E, F, G, A, B, right, A3 is actually even lower, octave A is actually lower than the fourth octave C, okay, C, D, E, F, G, A, B and then comes again C, so you need to bring it up to B4, C, D, E, F, G, A, B4, so which is pretty higher. Okay, do not think that you are in third octave A and then just a little bit adjustment will not give you B4. B4 is much higher than A3. Okay, so you have to understand the difference between octave numbering and how far that note is from the note that you are getting it on the tuner, right? Now it is F4, C, D, E, F. You have G, A, B. You have to go three more notes higher. A4. Now you need to bring it to B4. Okay, now we have B4, it is showing green. Now this two has been tuned. Now these other two strings, it is e3 and b3 that is the same thing in the third octave make sure of a few things that if it is very high and showing the numbering that is five six something like that do not try to tune it high because it's already higher than the fourth octave so the look at always look at the numbering it should be in fourth octave if it is i'm talking about the thinner string because most of the time people break the thinnest string which is the first one first string pa right so always make sure you pluck it it should be in, in you know good tension but not way too tight if it is way too tight that means you have passed the benchmark of our octave range it's way higher so west end tuning it is e a d g and it will be all very tight we are we don't want that kind of tension in carnatic carnatic tuning is always somewhere in the middle okay so I'll also mention what all is needed, what are the notations or numbering, lettering for other tuning such as C, D, D sharp and all that I'll mention in the comment. You can check what those are if you want to tune it to D sharp, D or C sharp. I don't recommend going to C because if you're, if you're having normal strings that comes along with the violin, it is not recommended to tune lower than C sharp, it will be very low. And will not sound nice so check this out if you are not confident i would recommend not to tune the violin because you obviously end up breaking the strings i hope you understood how this should be tuned if you have any questions you can write it in the comments i'll be happy to answer them now i'll be giving you another list of notes let's say in e we are playing Maya Malagula, right? So I'll be giving a list of notations where the exact positions of Ri, Ga, Ma, Pa, Dha, Ni and Sa are you know, on the strings so that you can play without any markers on the violin. You can place your finger and use a tuner to play and find out the exact position is. You can readjust your fingers and find out what those notes are on the tuner like and then you can find out that exact positions of those notes are. So for example, Sa for E Sruti is E4. 
re is f4 ga is g4 sharp and it has to be in green okay every note has to be in green so that you have to readjust your fingers to make it in green ma is a4 pa is b4 tha is c5 ni is d5 sharp cha is e5 so if there is another string if you have a fifth five string violin this will be e3 b3 e4 b4 then e5 simple then next string will be b5 like that so that's the whole concept of tuning it's not a rocket science but still you have to have an understanding of how much you should wind this how you should use the fine tuners and stuff so once you start off with it you will get a hang of how to use this how to manage this and stuff stay tuned for more videos interesting beginner videos like this whatever i think of i'll come up with videos and that will help beginners like you and myself i'm also a beginner i consider myself a beginner so that learning is more interesting and enjoyable okay so yeah see you in the next video bye